Welcome back to another video at least okay and we've got good news regarding the iNeo 2s the Indiegogo finally went live a couple of days ago and there's still some early bird deals that you might want to check out we're going to take a look at the console today take a look at the Indiegogo take a look at some of the tiers that you could buy some of them are pricey some of them are reasonable and there's obviously still some early birds in there so we'll take a look at those and i'll give you my opinions we'll talk about it and we'll watch a little trailer for it and get hyped up for the iNeo 2s so let's get into it but first please like subscribe and click the bell icon because i'm hopefully going to be getting my hands on an iNeo 2s in the next couple of weeks and the rog ally so if you want to see my first impressions my unboxing then please subscribe and click the bell icon and come follow me on twitter as well over at blaze2kx down here on twitter because i'll be tweeting out the second i get my hands on it and maybe even sharing some pictures behind the scenes all right so let's get to it at blaze2k let's get excited let's get hyped up for the ioneo 2s let's go But before we get into it and take a look at the Indiegogo page and watch the trailer for it, check out my list of favorite Steam Deck accessories. Go check it out, link in the video description and top comment. This list will have just about everything you would need for just about every handheld. Now, there's some specific Steam Deck things in here, like Steam Deck cases, etc. But the majority of it will work on your iNeo 2S, ROG Ally, and of course, your Steam Deck, right? Um, and you'll find just about everything you would ever need for any of these consoles on this list, including including the one terabyte micro SD here, which I've got on my Steam Deck. I've got three terabytes of storage and the new this new bad boy which i'm super excited to tell you about i've did a video on it already um the two terabyte sabrent micro or sorry the two terabyte sabrent um nvme ssd 2230 um that will fit in your steam deck and your rog ally this thing is a beast i would have bought this thing if i had the chance i had to buy a sn7040 from aliexpress which took a couple of weeks to arrive but this thing's built for gaming it's an american company so a lot of good things here and it's only it's only like 220 right now 225 right and you can get amazon prime delivery on it so it's going to be brand new in a box with a warranty a lot to like about this anyways let's get on to why we're here all right oh back to the wish list first um bookmark it follow it click the heart button share it with friends it's great for gift ideas you'll find a lot you'll like here and i'm always adding new stuff so keep checking it all right keep checking this list link in the video description and top comment anyways any google so finally went live it's already raised five hundred and forty three thousand dollars and there's a lot of really nice tears and colors so one one of which really surprised me and that is the ineo 2s b duck black version here this thing is a monster guys now let me see if i could find a picture of it down here this is it here how sick does this look but it does come at a pretty pretty, pretty big premium here it's going to have a 7840u 64 gigabytes of ram and four terabytes and now this thing's going to cost you 15.99 but the good news is it's still available for the early bird and there's like 70 left <laughs> So if you're willing to spend 1600 on this bad boy, have the ultimate handheld, the ultimate with four terabyte storage, 64 gigs of RAM. This thing's a powerhouse and it's going to be great for docking to a monitor, keyboard and mouse and using as basically a full size, full desktop PC kind of, but in such a portable form factor. You can get this for $15.99 um, and it's going to be $19.99 when it goes live after the Indiegogo ends. So if you're going to get this for you, if you're wanting this and you have the money to spend on it, you want to get, you want to get this thing now. All right, I'll put the link to the Indiegogo in the, the video description. We've also got the Retro Power one over here. Um, they've got a few different variants. Do they still have the early bird of the 2 terabyte one? They do. Okay, so there's only... 110 of these left if you want to nab one up 32 gigs two terabytes that is basically the the specs that i would probably go for i don't i think 64 gigs might be a little bit excessive four terabytes definitely excessive but hey the more the better and if you have the money to spend on it good for you but this is probably the specs i'm going to go for here now they don't have any more i believe of the two terabyte 32 gig um, black and whites yet that's a shame that's already ran out but the good news is they do have some of the retro power, so if you want to buy that, eleven forty nine, it's like fifty bucks more than the black and white ones. But it looks like a Game Boy, which is kind of nice, a more brownie Game Boy, I guess, a, a weathered Game Boy, right? You've also got the Ioneo Two S uh, B Duck Blue and Pink one. My wife is a big fan of this one. Um, she's not a big fan of the design on the back, but she loves the colors and she loves unique things, right? So there's also that one, and then obviously you've got the black and the white, and I believe they're going to be releasing a Geek. 1s nebula purple if you want one of those bad boys apparently the transparent casing didn't work out it was prone to cracking so they had to basically scrap that idea and go with just a purple case 
which is fine um <clears throat> so yeah there we go very cool it's finally out let's watch the trailer for it here so the 7840U new flagship i can't believe how powerful these little handhelds are getting guys this thing looks absolutely amazing i want one now i want one now fingerprint sensor hall analog thumbsticks and triggers look at that rgb though look at the rgb oh i want that rgb so bad oh i'd go for the black one i think black would be my favorite um but i think i'm gonna get my hands on a white one i believe and look at that look at that generational leap over the steam deck this thing's a beast i've, I've looked at some eta eta primes videos and the emulation on this thing is just next level you're able to play 360 and playstation 3 games on this thing and obviously the newest triple a releases at like 60 fps or more i just wish it had 120 hertz display in it i think that would be the cherry on the cake Well, there it is, guys. It's got a new three copper pipe cooling solution. So it's going to be able to cool that bad boy down efficiently, more efficiently than the, the 6800U iNeo 2, believe it or not. Um, very cool. New air outlet design. So they basically made the air outlets uh, vents a little bit larger just to get rid of that heat, push that heat out. Um, and yeah, obviously that no bezel dis uh, no bezel display, the sheet of the pane of glass across the entire front, which reminds me of the PSP, and I like that, you know? Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Very cool. Um, obviously you got the retro power one. Now this here it is. Here it is. The black B duck, joyful black. Ugh. I want it. I just don't want to spend sixteen hundred dollars on it, you know? Oh, oh, look at that food. Now, I don't know what a unique baby sleep position grip. Eh, eh, eh. Does it really feel like a baby sleeping? <laughs> High precision, hall joysticks, yep, master controller, yep, they've got the new Ideal Space 2, vibration more. 50 watt hour battery, I believe that's 10 watt hour more than the Steam Deck and ROG Ally. And look at the new ISP2, it reminds me of a, of a Nintendo Switch a little bit. They're going with that Switch look. Very cool. Very cool. Don't like how the headphone port's on the bottom though. But then again, it won't flop over the screen, will it? Very cool. These two look super happy with their INEO 2S. So there we go, guys. It's live. Go check it out. I'll put a link in the video description. This thing is a beast. Like I said, I'm going to get my hands on one later this month. So hopefully I'll give you my first impressions and unboxing. And um, I'll give you my honest opinion, whether I like this thing or not. Um, I'm not going to BS you and be like, oh, this is the best thing ever because I knew never sent me it. So, yeah. Um, if you want an honest opinion, you'll get one from me. And I'll be comparing it to the ROG Ally as well and the Steam Deck. So stay tuned. Please click that like, subscribe, click the bell icon so you're notified when that goes live. And um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Are you going to go for any of these little tiers here? Now, like I said, I wish they had more of the early bird 2 terabytes. Now, I'm not going to go for the Geek. I think the Geek this year or for the iNew 2S is 800p, strictly 800p. I want 1080p. I wish it was 120 hertz. It's not. That's a shame. Um... They've not got any more early birds for the 2 terabyte model, sadly. At least in the black and white, but they do still have it for the retro. Um, they obviously have the B-Duck, pink and blue. And obviously, if I had an unlimited budget, I would love to be getting this one. Let me know if you would as well. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I just wanted to get a little video out talking about the Indie Google launch. I should have posted one the day of, right? I, did, I said I would, and I ended up not doing it. Um, I, kind of wish you did now but yeah it's live have you ordered it are you excited about one um let me know and i neil if you feel like reaching out please reach out i want to be friends anyways take care i love you i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video have a great day guys bye